Hey guys, Eric here from Expedition Electric and today we're going to take Alex's bike and make it into an e-bike. Let's uh, get started. We're going to try to do this as quickly as we can. We got the brakes here, we got the motor, we got the tire gauge. Um, this is the torque arm to keep the wheel on. Just a couple tools here. Tire levers, uh, hex keys, a bag for the computer. We've got a battery, 48 volt, 15 amp hour, and then the computer here. I'm just gonna go into the computer bag. And then we've got a giant bike with 26 inch tires, so we're gonna start. We got the motor on the back wheel. We're done. <laughs> so, there we go. Just plug it in. And go. <laughs> yeah, now put the kickstand down. We're gonna work on the handlebars a bit now. So we're using the twist, trying to get the grip off here. Really putting us back into it here. <laughs> Holding his breath. The entire time. <laughs> it takes a lot. And it's done. So now we're going to install the computer. And it's going to go in this bag. This is the computer. We're going to put it right here where his water bottle is currently. So if he ever wants to connect these, he now knows how to connect and disconnect the wires. And super important to remember what I was getting ready to say is always make sure your battery is disconnected when you're doing this. You don't want to have your battery connected and have electricity flowing through those wires while you're trying to so smart. connect and disconnect. Um. So we're doing a little cord management here. It's going to put these zip ties around the cords so that they don't get stuck in the pedals. So here's the computer bag and we got the cords coming out of it and right now he's taking off the, the water bottle holder um, and this is where the battery is going to get installed. Right now he's installing a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery. It should probably take him about 25 miles or so without pedaling but if he goes on his big long excursions 
probably go about 40 miles if he's pedaling. He'll have to let us know. So we're gonna try to remove that plate from the bottom of the battery. It first slides, time, time <laughs> slides this way, the plate does. There you go, just. Nope. I would just push maybe with like the palm of your hand. There you go, got it. And now we're gonna install this battery to his bike here on the mounts. Yep, it's gonna go that way because I think that's the only way it's gonna fit on there. So notice how the steel will really support the battery as he puts these bolts back in. Fortunately for his bike, it lines up perfectly. If not, you have to, you'll have to improvise, but for his bike, this is gonna work great. He has a nice large area here to put the computer and the battery. Now we're gonna practice getting this battery on here. So we got the flatter screws, starts it down and lifts it up. Now, whoop, he had it. Perfect. Now the only thing he needs to do to secure it is turn, put the key in it and turn the key. So I gotta get the, him the keys to the battery. In a few short hours, we converted Alex's 26 inch giant bicycle into an electric uh, rear hub 1000 watt bike and let the adventures begin. Let's see it in action. <laughs> <laughs> He's flying. <laughs> Hi, so what do you think of your new e-bike? Uh, <laughs> it's awesome.